The Soul Bird by Michal Sinunit Deep down inside our bodies lives the soul. No one has ever seen it, but we all know it's there. Not only do we know it's there, we know it's in it too. Inside the soul, right in the very middle of it, is a bird standing on one foot. This is the soul bird. It feels everything we feel. When someone hurts our feelings, the soul bird runs around and round in pain. When someone loves us, it hops and skips up and down, backwards and forwards. When someone calls our name, it listens carefully to hear what kind of call it is. When someone is angry with us, it curls itself into a ball and it is silent and sad. And when someone hugs us, the soul bird deep down inside grows and grows until it almost fills us. That's how good it feels when someone hugs us. Deep down inside lives the soul. No one has ever seen it, but we all know it's there. Never, never has a person been born who didn't have a soul. It sparks the moment we are born and never leaves us, not even once for as long as we live. It's like the air that people breathe from the moment they are born until the time they die. Do you want to know what the soul bird is made of? Well, it's really quite simple. It's made of drawers. These drawers can't be opened just like that because each is locked with its own special key. Only the soul bird can open its drawers. How? Ah, that's quite simple too, with its other foot. The soul bird stands on one foot and with the other foot tucked under its wing when it's resting, it turns the key to the drawer it wants to open, pulls the handle, and lets everything inside out. Because there is a drawer for everything we feel, the soul bird has many, many drawers. One for being happy and one for being sad. One for being jealous and one for being content. One for being hopeful and one for being hopeless. One for being patient and one for being impatient. There is also one for hating and one for being loved. There is even a drawer for being lazy and one for being vain. There is a special drawer for your deepest secrets, which is hardly ever opened. And there are other drawers too, whatever drawers you dream of. Sometimes you can tell the bird which key to turn and which drawers to open. Sometimes the, ch the bird will choose especially for you. Like when you want to be silent and order the soul bird to open the silence drawer, but the bird decides all by itself to open the talking drawer and you talk and talk without ever wanting to. You want to listen patiently, but the soul bird opens his impatient drawer and you become impatient. Sometimes you get jealous without meaning to, and sometimes you get in the way when you only want to help. The soul bird does not always do what it is told and gets things in a mess. By now you've understood that everyone is different because there's a different soul bird deep inside. The bird which opens the happiness drawer each day pours happiness into your body and you will be happy. But if the bird opens the anger drawer, he will be angry until the bird chooses the drawer behind, closes the drawer behind him. A bird who feels bad will open up the drawers which make you feel bad. A bird who feels good will open up drawers which make you feel good. Most important is to listen to the soul bird because sometimes it calls us and we don't hear it. This is a shame. It wants to tell us about ourselves. It wants to tell us about the feelings that are locked up inside its drawers. Some of us hear it all the time. Some of us almost never. And some of us hear it only once in a lifetime. That's why it's a good idea, maybe late at night when everything is quiet, to listen to the soul bird deep down inside us. The end.